Hello, welcome to my channel and thanks for tuning into this video. Today I'm going to be doing another lipstick based look video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I've decided today to do the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Morning Lipstick. So I've based this whole look around this color and the idea of this shade. So if you'd like to see how I put this look together and my thoughts behind it, just keep on watching. Starting with the eyes, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. I thought that would be an appropriate palette to use for a velvet morning. So I'm going to be focusing, I think, on the sort of rusty reds like this clove shade or this jasper shade here. And you may be throwing in some of the peaches or these sort of more neutrally type colors. So these ones here. Uh, maybe a couple of these metallics, we'll see. I'm gonna start off actually with Morning here. Taking that on my classic crease and just throwing it right in the crease there. And I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called Awakening. And on the same brush, I'm gonna put that actually all over the whole lid, including the crease, like on top of where I already have that matte color. I want this to be a colorful eye, but to have at least some subtlety to it at the same time. So I think sometimes when you're trying to do that, it can help to get a metallic all over and then build some of those deeper colors like the reds that I'm going to be using on top of the metallic because the metallic is naturally just going to diffuse those stronger colored mattes a little bit and tone them down a touch. And this awakening shade is really nice. I think it's a duochrome. It's kind of like a peachy beige with um, almost like a lavender, a light purple shift to it. All right, now I'm gonna take my mini booster. Please excuse Xander's chewing in the background. It's uh, the best way for me to keep him <laughs> occupied while I'm doing this. So I'm gonna take this Jasper shade here on the mini booster and just Build this up in the corner, the outer corner. And then just kind of pulling what's left over through the crease area. You can see it's playing really nicely with that metallic shade letting a little bit of that shine through and it's sort of emphasizing that purple shift in some areas. I'm going to go back with my classic crease into that awakening shade again, that metallic one. and just kind of go over even where I've got that jasper shade just to soften it a little bit more. That's what we're working with so far. And I think I want, do I want anything else? Let's do a little bit on the inner corner for right now. I'm gonna take this Laurel shade on my flat definer brush and put that into the inner corner. Just kind of a champagne shade. Okay, and I'm going to take Awakening again and just strengthen it a little bit, sort of right in this area here. Such a nice shine on that color. Almost looks wet. And now on the lower lash line, I'm going to go into this Aster shade here, which I think is another duochrome, but it's deeper than the Awakening shade and a lot more purple. Just 
And I'm gonna go back into the laurel shade that I have on my inner corner and just blend that into Aster. And then just to define those outer corners down below a little bit, I'm going to try this glory shade. It's kind of a magenta color. It's a matte. Just right on the outer corner and blending it up into the top. I'm going to go into this agate shade and it's a really pale gold and just blend out the edges with that just to soften everything a little bit. Right, I'm just going to finish up with the Victoria Beckham Cocoa liner on my tight line and some mascara and I'll be right back. The eyes are finished. This is how they look. So I just wanted to read Lisa's description of the Velvet Morning Shade because it really informed my thoughts on creating this look. A hot and fiery bright orange slash red inspired by waking up in a tropical place and seeing orange red sky on the horizon. She says, I also love the Nancy Sinatra song, Some Velvet Morning. This is the ultimate pick-me-up shade, saturated and highly pigmented lipstick with a beautiful true velvet effect on the surface of the bullet, which looks exactly like velvet fabric. So that's what all the velvets look like. Um, and then she goes on to say, the color is long wearing and non-drying. And this shade is an explosion of vitality that looks graphic and modern for parties will serve you well all year as it's the ultimate hot summer holiday shade too. And then she says, you know, it can be applied as a stain by lightly dabbing it or full on from the bullet. So I'm going to be applying it full on, but just know that any of her lipsticks, you can apply them as a stain for just a more subtle effect, but with still a, that bit of color, or you can go full on for that really strong pop of saturated color. I think I'll put the lipstick on now actually and then do the rest of the cheek makeup and so on, just because I think that's gonna help to inform, you know, how I'm placing the blush and bronzer and everything. So that's Velvet Morning on the lips. What a great color, it's so fiery. And now let's get into bronzer. So I'm going to be using this La Mer bronzer. This is from a couple of summers ago and I'm not sure if you can still get it, but basically I chose it because it's kind of a, a warmer bronzer um, among the bronzers that I have. So it just has that little bit of orange warmth going on with it that I thought would play nicely with this lip color and the whole look. But any sort of bronzer, I think, in that category would work really well. Another option might be the Chantecaille Sirena. That's probably what I would have chosen if I weren't using this Le Mer one. I'm just going to take my large artist brush and go through all those colors there and get the bronzer on. All right, I've got the bronzer on and I should mention for my base what I've done. I had before my foundation, I put on the Westman Atelier Lit Up Highlight Stick in the shade Lit, just on my cheeks and a little bit on the sort of temples and forehead area. And then I did my foundation mixture, which was the Shiseido Synchro Skin, the self-refreshing one, mixed with a pump of the Auric Glow Lust. I really like those two mixed together because you get the glow mixed with that sort of soft matte, which is a really nice finish, I think, for this type of a look. So that's what I had going on before I put the bronzer on. And now I want to move into blush, and I'm going to be using 
this Chanel Fleur de Planton blush and highlight duo. And I think uh, I'll start out with the blush shade and then go in with the highlight shade. But for me, this is also a blush shade, but I like to kind of build the deeper color first on the cheeks and then top it off with that sh more shimmery, lighter color. I chose the Velvet Morning shade for today because it's one of the ones that is still available on Lisa's website. So um, if anyone doesn't have this and was trying to choose a color of her velvets maybe to get, this is one of the ones that's still available and a really beautiful color. Velvet Carnival is also still available and Velvet Ribbon and I think Velvet Myth too. I've done lipstick-based look videos on Carnival and Ribbon already. So if you go to my playlists on my channel, you can see on the Lisa Eldridge Lips playlist, those will be part of that. And then I also used Myth in my How to Wear Dark Lipsticks for Spring video. So if you're interested in that, um, I can link that below as well. All right, so I think I've got a nice base with that darker color, and then I'm gonna go into this one and keeping it a little bit higher up, just topping it off with that. I'm just doing my little bit of lip shading. I do this pretty much every time I do my makeup, but I think especially for a really bright, vibrant lip color like this. This technique can help a lot to kind of soften the lips a little bit and just make them more cohesive with the whole makeup look on the face. Also just taking a little bit of the blush across my nose. Uh, that's another thing that I always do. I did that with the bronzer too. I did kind of like a very loose contouring situation with that bronzer on the nose. Again, just to sort of keep the cohesiveness of the whole face together, which I think is especially helpful when you have bright colors um, on the lips or the eyes or both like I have today. I was gonna put some cream highlighter on, but I think I'm glowy enough. So this is the completed Velvet Morning makeup look. So I hope this was enjoyable for you. I hope it was helpful if you have this color or were thinking of getting it but weren't quite sure how to wear it. Obviously there are lots of different ways you could wear this. I think it would look really nice with a bronze smoky eye. I think it would also look really great with a more cool toned smoky eye with some cooler grays and charcoal colors would look really nice. And of course you could keep it really simple and just maybe throw a little bit of bronzer in the crease and a little liner. That would be really nice too. But this is what I came up with for how I wanted to, you know, kind of celebrate and really represent this shade. And today, if you're watching this on the day I post it, which is Friday, uh, Lisa's supposed to be sending an update on her spring summer release. It was delayed. It was supposed to, the pre-sale was supposed to start on May 15th, but it got delayed because of shipping issues, uh, getting things to her warehouse, but she's supposed to be updating us today. So either she will have done that already, or it will be coming later today through her newsletter. Let me know if you have any comments or questions below. I'd love to see those. And if you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would really love for you to do so. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.